Hello and welcome to part two of the Livid Bass video series. I'm Kendall Clark here at Livid Studios, and in this video I'm going to walk you through playing melodic instruments with the new Livid Bass controller in Ableton Live. As we saw in part one of this video, the bass can automatically detect what kind of instrument is on a channel in Live and will adjust the button grid accordingly. I've got a synth loaded up on channel two, and if I select it, you will see the button grid display a note array. Like the push controller, the bass can be set in chromatic or diatonic scale modes. But unlike push, the bass can change its vertical offset to any value, and it comes loaded with many more scales for you to experiment with. Let's see how to set it up. When you first enter note mode, bass will default to a C major scale starting on C2. This default can be easily edited in the script though, and as you can see, I have my default set to a minor scale. You can see the root notes in red, white keys are light blue, and the black keys are dark blue. If you press and hold either functions 2 or 3, bass will reveal some hidden shift page functions for adjusting the note grid. Starting from the right, the two green touch buttons on top will shift the root note up or down by one semitone. You can see these adjustments mirrored in the info view in the lower left corner of live highlighted in yellow. My demo track is in C-sharp minor, so I'm going to adjust my root note up to D-flat. The next pair of touch buttons moving to the left, lit in red, allow you to adjust the scale. I'm going to leave mine set to minor, but as you can see, there are a number of scales to choose from. The next two buttons over, lit in white, allow you to change the vertical offset by one scale step. Think of the vertical offset as the size of the interval when you move vertically up the pads. Note that if a non-chromatic scale is selected, the vertical offset will change by one scale step. If you are in chromatic mode, the vertical offset will change by one semitone. And finally, the last pair of buttons on the left allow you to enter split mode, in the same way that I showed you with the drum rack. So just a little more info about the vertical offset, it can be set to any value from 0 to 127. But let me show you a few that I like to stick to. In a non-chromatic scale, I like to use a vertical offset of 4. This is the same vertical offset used by the drum pad mode, and it is useful for a number of reasons. For one, it allows me to enter split mode without creating a gap in my note range. If you prefer the note layout of push, you can set the vertical offset to 3, but this will give you a smaller overall note range on the 32 pads. If you play guitar or bass and are more acquainted with that type of note layout, you can set your bass up in the same way. First, We'll use the red buttons on the shift page to select the chromatic scale mode. Since the lowest open note on a guitar or bass is an E, let's use the green touch buttons to adjust our root note accordingly. And finally, you'll want to set the vertical offset to 5. Now just think of the pads on the bass as the open strings and first 7 frets of a bass guitar. The chord shapes will be the same. Alright, now that we understand how to set up the notes mode on the bass, let's see it in action.
and that's how you play melodic instruments with the new Livid Bass Controller. We hope you enjoyed part 2 of this video. Keep an eye out for more upcoming videos about the Livid Bass. I'm Kendall Clark with Livid Studios, we'll see you next time.